Hello, this is Hussam Hurani, and today we will uh, talk about data visualization, and we will talk about specifically nomogram uh, uh, diagram. Uh, let's go directly to the example. I will show you a simple example. We will use file uh, widget, and we will connect the Titanic data set. This is the Titanic data set. Okay. Now, as you know that uh, if you go to data table you will see that we have uh, the status if it's first class second third class or crew we have the age adult or a child and we have the me, me, six which is male or female and we have the survived if it's yes or no okay before um, i connect to the nomogram uh, let me just first show you something very important if we, we connect to pivot pivot table in pivot table, oh, I will connect sur uh, survival to uh, status. As you can see from this uh, very important table that we have here, the status, if it's crew, first, second, third class, and these are the totals. And if, uh, if it's uh, yes uh, or no, uh, survived or not survived, and this is the total number of uh, passengers, 2,201, where 1,490 did not surv uh, survive, and 711 survived so this is very important so you can also see the age per each age uh, uh, these are the ages the adults are the most uh, people who did not survive while the child they survived and also we have the uh, six so we have the male and female so the male uh, 1364 did not survive where we have 126 survived from uh, female and uh, they did not survive sorry from female but for the people who survived are just only 367 for male and 344 survived from female as you can see that the female uh, they most of them they, they survived but the male most of them they did not survive also the people who uh, took the uh, first class and second class most of them survived however the crew and the third class uh, did not survive uh, uh, based on this let's have um, the uh, the following i will connect to test okay and i will connect uh, this one to logistic regression okay so I will connect this here and I will connect to uh, test and score okay also I will connect this to naive base naive base uh, and I will connect to test okay and from test you will see that these are the measurements for area under curve and classification classification 77 percent for naive base and 77 also for uh, logistic regression while the area under curve 0.704 and 0.748 these are the uh, uh, area under curve and classification now let let's connect this logistic regression to no more gram now the no more gram will work with logistic regression and also it will work with naive base so i'm gonna connect this to no more sorry no more gram so the nomogram as i said it will um, explain both models in the classification the logistic regression and the naive base so if i open now the uh, this nomogram you will see definitely that for the target class which is no they did not survive uh, uh, and if i put uh, scale to points points scale and include all the features you will see that people uh, the system uh, scaled the mail because it has the major numbers and put the others rel relatively so we have here 100 percent for male so the people uh, who are male who are crew or second in the second class let, let me just move this into third class let's let's see the third class so male third class adult most of them they did not survive and this is exactly what is happening here uh, if you read it from uh, this table you will see that most of the third class people uh, who are adult okay 
uh, adult uh, male uh, in the third class they did not survive and also the crew if I, if you go to also the crew okay uh, you will also have this uh, probability uh, higher than the others now this is for the absolute uh, important uh, ranked by absolute important if you go to yes you will see that male they did not zeros they did not survive but the female they survived okay the second uh, and first class see if i move to first class the probability increases the probability increases uh, a little bit and for adult if i move it to child also it will increase so people who are female let me just put female first class child uh, are most likely will will um, will survive will survive so this is uh, the uh, nomogram you can uh, navigate between no and yes and see exactly uh, if, if it's female for example if it's first third class what's the probability of surviving this is a nice really diagram and visualization of your data the same thing goes for the also naive base uh, the same thing as uh, but here you have negative and positive uh, influ influence so the females are negative because they most of them survived while the male are positive because most of them they did not survive in specific classes which is for example third third and adult and male see it increases the probability for the people who did not survive and uh, also you can connect actually uh, the data table to nomogram selected data to data and you can open both let me just show you an example i will open both diagrams and uh, to see something very uh, important which is if you um, select for example uh, the yes survived yes survived first adult male you will see what what will happen here see it, it uh, goes to male first class adult and it gives you the probability while if you go to for example no first uh, let me go to no and maybe choose different second third class no third class adult male you will see that uh, most of them uh, they did not survive because they are third and third class adult and male also the crew even the same thing if you go to crew for the people who did not survive survive this is the crew adult male it is the same thing but if you go for example to uh, survive uh, yes crew or uh, female let me go to female uh, second class for example see it, it will go into this uh, probability they survived yes okay most of them they survived because they are female in the second class and they are uh, adult e or even child if you choose child the same thing so this diagram actually nomogram is very important you can use it for logistic regression and naive base it is important to understand your data yani for example uh, you will notice that um, if you divide this to this number uh, you will identify that 70% did not survive based on this uh, table uh, and this is what you can get from these you know uh, diagrams the 70% here for yes or no etc so this is uh, the lesson for today I hope to, I hope that you enjoyed it and uh, till we um, uh, create a new lesson We'll see you uh, there. Bye.